please excuse the mess of this room, but I recently saw a post on a 3D printing uh, Facebook group that I'm part of. It's actually about the one of their Kitty printers, but pretty sure that you can experience this with any printer. Uh, basically, when a filament is originally wrapped around the spool, it kind of takes the shape of that spool. Well, obviously it takes the shape of that spool, but once it comes to this point and it starts feeding through the line, it's taking a different shape. Like it's not circular anymore. Now it's like running through the two and it's doing all these twists and turns. What I read up on and what I've experienced personally is that as soon as it takes on a different shape that's not like that circular motion, the filament becomes brittle. And so a lot of people worry that over time their filament is going to become brittle on the spool and whatnot and they'll have to throw it in the oven or whatever the case to try and make it flexible again. I haven't personally experienced that yet or the need to do that yet. It's mostly been that it becomes brittle in this part. So if I wait too long, if I wait even a couple weeks and then I try and do another print, um, a lot of times what will happen is my print will get to a certain point where it then breaks in the tube and then it doesn't properly feed into the extruder anymore. So then the print itself just, it's not feeding anymore. It'll, it will, obviously the bed will keep moving. It'll keep proceeding, thinking that it is having filament coming out and whatnot, but it's not, and so I just end up with an incomplete print. So here, it's been a long time since I've used this printer. It's probably been like, I don't know, maybe six to eight months or so. I know, I, I have a pretty good feeling that the brittleness of this filament is going to be weak somewhere in here. But I'll usually test up here first. Let's see, let's see if I, if I bend this there, it already, it already snapped. So that's not good. This, <laughs> it worries me a little bit. Is this going to be the first time I need to throw this spool in my oven? Um, actually what I'm going to do, I got these little clippers here, but I don't have a tripod to hold this camera. So I'm going to set this down for a second and I'm going to clip a section off of the filament somewhere over here. Okay, now what I've done is I've clipped off about one to two feet of filament. So what I have right here has kind of loosely been spiraled, spiraled around the spool. I'm gonna test bend this um, and just You know what, I should 3D print a tripod for doing this kind of shit because this was like a last minute video. I wanted to try and show if it even works. Right, so now that this, see, I'm, I've bent this now almost to a V. You saw how easily the other piece snapped, I hope. Now what's happening here is like, I can't get this to snap. I've, I've taken it as close to a V shape as possible. I'd have to like bend it back and forth to even get it to break off. And there I go. So what I'm going to do right now is just preserve this and put it in the holes of the spool until I want to print again. Then I'll clip off the little excess. Yeah, you hopefully you saw how easily 
this over here broke, I can do it again probably. I'm just like... All right, well maybe not in that section because maybe it's somehow... Re oh, you know what? Actually, <laughs> it broke somewhere in here instead. So, yeah. That's what happens. Like, I could probably unwind most of this and check it at any point and it'll be able to bend quite a bit. But once it starts to lose the shape of that spool, it becomes brittle. So, just something to keep in mind.